Okay, so good afternoon guys. So this will be your uh, your laboratory activity for today. So for the rest of your activity for today, you're going to create a simple network diagram. So a uh, working uh, network diagram, this will be a simulation of computer networks. So, so basically what you're going to do is just create the diagram and supply an IP address. And you're going to learn how to use Cisco Packet Tracer. So, bakit ba siya tawag na packet tracer? So, um, let's start first by um, by adding devices na gagamitin natin. So, just remember that you're going to use the hub and the switches. So, you can find you can find that one on the lower left corner. So, those are uh, the different end devices. So, we have the hub and the switches. Hub, switch. Okay? So, if you're going to add a hub, so just click hub okay so select the generic so we're going to use the generic hub or the hash hub dash pt so this is a hub okay so we also have the switches so just click on the switches here so can you look for the generic switch dash pt okay so, ito yung gagamitin natin for this laboratory. So, uh, we're going to use hub and switches for the rest of the activity. So, after that, you're going to connect computers and uh, supply IP address. Okay? So, just to give an example of a simple network diagram. So, we're going to use a hub. So, just click hub here. Click the generic hub-pt. Okay? So, this is your hub-pt. So, we're going to add computer. Let's say I'm going to network or simulate three computers on the network using a hub. Okay, so... So, I have three computers on the work uh, workspace and also hub here. So connect it with a straight through cable. So kindly look for the straight through cable or the copper straight through. So click this one. Then always remember you connect it to the fast ethernet to a port on a switch. Okay, same also with the other computers. So connect it to the hub. So, ulitin ko ulit, always make sure you connect it to the fast ethernet of, of the computer going to the port of hub or switch. Okay? So, um, in, in simulator kasi, so usually, as a simulators, so your switch are modular. So, meaning to say, the number of ports are pwede mo mabago, pwede mo tanggalin, or pwede mo baguhin. So, if in case, kulangin kayo ng port, for example, this is a hub, by default, meron lang siyang 6 port. Okay? You only have 6 port here. So, what you're going to do is just turn off the hub first. So, turn off the hub. Okay? Hindi ko na just turn off the, hu off the hub. Kasi, we're go for example, uh, uh, by default, this is 6 port. So, so the, um, the number of devices, the maximum number of devices that you can connect is only 6 devices. So what if you uh, uh, exceeded uh, 6 units or 6 computers, so you need to add ports here. So basically, the maximum ports to be allowed on hub, on this hub is, is 10 port. Okay, so all you have to do is just turn off. You have the, the switch on, switch off uh, button here. Okay, just click this one, turn it on and turn it off. So just turn off Mona. Then you have the devices here, but by default you have the LAN port here. Just go, just click and drag to make it ten ports. Okay, because uh, some Cisco devices are modular, so mean this is meaning to say you are not you are uh, you, you can insert different modules to add different ports on the network. But but for um, modern devices the uh, um, most of the time, fix the menu mga ports on switches or hub or switches. Okay, 
So, don't forget to turn it on again. So, paki-on ulit again. So, you have 10 ports on the hub. Okay? Kaya lang, ito namang sample ko is, uh, is only uh, 3 computers. So, okay na yung kanina, yung default, because that is 6 port. Okay? So, yun lang, if you, if you are going to extend or to, to add number of computers on the network, so, always make sure to add ports. Okay? Just double-click, turn off, then add. Then turn it back on again. Okay? Okay? So, we now have our simple connectivity. So, this time we're going to add IP address. So, let's say, for example, our network address na gagawin natin is the 192.168. The 192.168.1.0 network address. So, meaning to say, it may start from that one, that two, that three for the PC. So, okay, our network address is 192.168.1.0. So, this will be slash 24. A classy network. So, mean to say, this is our network address. So, our IP address is uh, on a specific range on this network address. Okay? So, we're going to start, for example, this is 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.2, this is 192.168.1.3. Okay? Always remember, in a network, there should be no the same IP address on the network kasi magkakakonflict kayo on IP addressing. Okay? Always make sure that uh, IP address, uh, computers do have unique IP address on the network, okay? So, for you to be able to assign IP address, just double, double click on the, uh, just click on the computer. Letting Just click on the computer, assign IP, click on the desktop tab, IP configuration, okay? So, I think ginawa nyo naman from previous activity. Then, supply the IP. This is 192.168. Dot one dot one. Just click tab, automatic naman yung subnet mask. Okay, do the same thing to other computer. Okay, this is 192.168.1.2 for the second computer and this one is 192.168.1.3 one okay so test if you if, if your network is working by using the ping command so ping from one computer to not to another computer so let's say for example this is pc1 i'm going to ping pc3 so this is uh, 1.3 so this is 1.1 .1, so click this one go to the command prompt then ping 192.168.1.3 Okay? So, may reply. So, mean to say there is a connection. So, mean to say your network is successful. Okay? Or the connectivity is successful. So, yun lang gagawin nyo. At the same time also, you can, instead of using ping, so there's also the active, uh, part of the activity would be using simulate, simulation of uh, ping. So, kaya siya tinawag na packet tracer is because you can determine how your packet travels over the network. Okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do is to simulate ping. So, this is your... This is a real-time... Um, this is on a real-time mode. So, if you're going to look at the lower right, so, merong real-time mode icon... Okay, ito yung real-time mode. So, this is where you design your network. So, we also have the simulation mode. Okay, we have the simulation mode. So, para hindi lang magulo yung simulation nyo, kasi the first, <coughs> the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to simulate ping. So, just click edit filters. Okay? Dito ko na, on the simulation mode, click edit filters. Then, napakadami kasi yung protocol here. I'll be discussing that on other, to other topics. But since we are dealing with a uh, ping command, so just uh, retain the ICMP. 
because ping falls under the ICMP protocol. So I'll be discussing that on other topic, uh, on other lesson. So just make sure that the ICMP is the only selected. You have the checkbox here, you show all or show all none. So just click this one. Okay, so just always make sure that the the only checkbox checked on the on this option is the ICMP. You think of that? So you have the show all, show none. So just click the just always make sure that the ICMP is selected. Okay. So once this ICMP is selected, so what you're go what we're going to do is we're going to add a packet. So this is the add simple PDU button. So just click this one. Okay. Click on the sender going to the destination. Okay. You think all that? So you can delete. Para ma-reset, just click delete button here. Okay? Mawala na yung simulation nyo of ping. So, if you're going to add a uh, ping simulation, ulitin ko ulit, the ICMP should be selected. Click the add simple PDU button, uh, uh, or icon. Click this one. Start with the center. Then, click on the destination. Just click this one. Okay? Then, click auto capture. Okay, so maximize, I'm going to maximize this one muna para mas makita nyo yung uh, mga sim, mga yung what's happening on the network. Okay, so ulitin ko na, you can delete the simulation, just click delete. Okay, nakalagay dito successful, then click delete. Okay, so ICMP selected. Click the add PDU. Click on the sender going to the destination. Then auto capture or play. So, kaya siya tinawag na packet tracer is because you can trace how your data travels over the network. Okay? Okay, so that's how you simulate uh, packet tracing. So, nandito tayo sa simulation mode. Always remember if you're going to go back to the design mode. So, just click the real-time mode here. Okay? So, that will be your guide for your net or for your uh, for your activity. So, you're going to create simple networks and simulate it or the test connectivity. So, and kind of check your canvas because... Uh, aside from doing the activity, you're going to save it according to the file name being required for each number on the uh, activity. And then you're going to upload it on the canvas. So there's a portion there that you're going to upload the the file, the Cisco Packet Tracer file on, uh, on canvas. Okay, so just make sure to save it as that .pkt or the Packet Tracer file. So I'll upload it on the on the canvas so i'll be posting uh uh so i'll, I'll be including the the upload file the, the upload button on the on the questions okay so so there you go for your activity so work on your activity and work on your activity and save okay so that's it for 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 my my uh simple instruction for your activity okay thank you